Hello, my name is Steve Spadig. I'm the Business Development Manager for the Southco Electronic Access Solutions Group. And this is our H3EM electronic swing handle product. This product is based off of our standard mechanical swing handle product, which is a mechanical key locking based off of a, a DIN lock. In this case, it's mechanically unlocked using a key. We've now created an electronic version of this, which still has the key locking capability for mechanical override. However, in addition to that, this has an electronic locking system. It is a gear motor based system so that when signal is provided, the gear motor retracts and allows me to open the handle. You'll notice it has uh, an LED, which is actually a light pipe from an internal printed circuit board. It comes up through the housing for when the handle is open, it's visible. If the handle is closed, it's still visible through the handle, again through a light pipe. There is also an external output that provides that same signal for uh, remote systems for remote monitoring over a network. We have multiple sensors in the system. We, we monitor that the electronic slide bolt has moved with the magenta and blue LED. And we also monitor the handle position. The handle is raised. You'll notice it changes to a blue flashing LED. There's also sensors in to monitor jam or vandal issues. If I push in the slide bolt, it gives me a, a separate indicator which can be used for security purposes or just to know that the latch was not fully closed. You'll notice in this position, it's giving me a warning that says that e either intentionally or accidentally the handle is, although closed, not in the latch position so that someone could come along and lift. So as soon as I push it beyond the detent, I get my solid blue, which indicates that the latch is in the locked and latch status, and now it is completely secure. So not only do we monitor the states in electronic latching and unlatching, we also monitor if someone were to unlock using a key. You'll notice that we also get the same indication both locally through the LED as well as remotely. This product is based off of a electronic, uh, electronically controlled gear motor. Therefore, it does have the capability to operate under load. Unlike solenoids, if I load this handle up, can still operate against that load. This is not typically the case with a solenoid-based system. We also, this is also a microprocessor-based system which allows us to take various inputs and create logic around that to produce uh, outputs for external systems for monitoring and, and control of the, of the lock set uh, remotely. I think that's it. Uh, we also can pair this this uh, latch with a number of uh, remote access devices. Mm -hmm. What's shown in, in frame right now is our I button. Uh, it's an electronic key that uh, will actuate it. It has uh, a number of different uh, electronic combinations. We also can pair it with uh, pin prox, uh, prox card readers, uh, keypads, as well as uh, fingerprint readers if they're available. So, Yes, and then also similar to our mechanical version, there are multiple back ends, whether it's a single point or a multi-point, uh, very simple installation. It's nothing more than a single, single connection to the back of the latch, which then provides your, your input as well as your output to external systems. And the difference between the two, this is where the, the electronics as well as the gear motor are housed. So it's very low profile in terms of the uh, additional components to take this from a mechanical to an electronic system. Well, we hope this is enough information for you. Uh, thanks for reviewing our submission, and uh, we'll be in touch.